Hello everyone, this is ASMR. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial, and today I'll show you the photography logo making. And today, the different types of logo and different types of fonts. One of my fan just requested me on my YouTube uh, video comments, and that's why I'm making this video, and that's why I'm making this type of logo. So it's uh, too much easy to make this out but it's difficult to find out the font the correct font or right font for your photography logo or the typography so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and new options and a new window will appear and now I'll take a canvas which is 2560 and 1440 200 pixel per inch and this one is pixels and the horizontal and hit the create button and obviously color mode in a RGB and hit the create button you'll get the white background so after that I'll go to the file and place embedded options and I'll import an image which is a download from the pixels.com stock image and hit the tick button and unlock this one and right press this and restylize this layer and then go to the solid color and take a black color like that and make the opacity down like this so i'll select these three layers and lock it up before lock it up i'll give the name bg bg stands for the background and lock it up after that i'll write down something over here so i'll write down this name the oliver romas this window okay after that go to the text tool and select once and after that check out the like character options just because of the gap between two letters it could be the bigger value so if you want to get the character tools over here go to the window and the characters so you'll get this tool here the gap between two letters i'll make it zero and i'll write down here and the color of the font is white and the photography so i'll copy from here otherwise yeah i'll copy from here the photography yeah that's good but i here i use the font which is the nexa light and the gap between two letters 1200 so photography at first the photography yeah and then the oliver romas i'll copy this one just get the text tool and paste but here i'll change the like uh, the value of gap between two letters zero and the font size i'll make it 72 and choose the font from here the athen font and hit the button press ctrl t and make it bigger so and now i'll work with two things here like that the o is bigger l is and liver liv this one is small and r is bigger and ramos is a m o s that is the small so i'll do that things how to do that select this layer just double the t options and liv here select this one and just down the font size we notice that it was 100 the font will be like this these things will be 100 yeah and select these things and make it 100 as well so hit the tick button and after that press ctrl a for select all the things and align them in the middle yeah from the middle okay that's good so now down in a photography so select these two layers align them in the middle and photography press the shift button and arrow key just replace here so select these two things make it like bigger like that need the tick button so if you want to add the drop shadow or other stuff so how to do that here the oliver romas here just right press blending options and the drop shadow 
the drop shadow setting will be opacity 81 percent the color is 0 b 0 b 0 b and the angle will be 147 degree and uncheck this one you use a global light this this one uncheck this one and distance 8 spare 2 size 14 and everything like that so follow this one hit the ok button and now i want to apply this same effect in this photography so select this photography options right press blending options and then drop shadow and hit ok so automatically you will get this type of thing that's good select these two things make it group and giving the name logo and this one if i turn it off you'll get the transparent background and i'll export this ctrl shift s and save it to png and 28 okay png mode i just saved it now i'll apply this one in any kind of image how to do that so go to the file suppose this one i want to apply in this photography logo so how to do that to the file and place embedded options and this one just import this one and place it wherever you can uh, wherever you want Let's press this one and you can reduce the opacity like that yeah that could be nice that's fine so i think you learn a lot from this tutorial so if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye